Welcome to another episode of Black and Blue. This episode is called Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. Uh-huh. Uh, mainly because we're talking about worry, anxiety, mm-hmm. and, and, and little birdies. And little birdies. And uh, Tweety Bird really uh, just kind of mm-hmm. goes with the flow, even though this cat named Sylvester is trying to eat Tweety. Mm-hmm. Tweety really does have a lot to worry about because, I mean, yeah. there's a cat that's fixated on him. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Or her. I don't, I don't or know. Or her. Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know. What, yeah. what is Tweety? I don't know. That's why. Good I, question. That's why I was just going to call Tweety Bird Tweety Bird. There we go. Um, <laughs> I really don't know. That's a good question. I, I have yeah. no idea. Oh, my goodness. It's Looney Tunes. <laughs> yeah. That... Okay, More so... <laughs> So we're going to be uh, hunkering down uh, just you know, a couple, couple minutes uh, yeah. in Luke chapter uh, 12 here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to yeah. read uh, about birdies and flowers, right? Mm-hmm. Here we go. And Jesus said to his disciples, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat, nor about your body, what you will put on. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Mm-hmm. Consider the ravens. They uh, neither sow nor reap. They have neither storehouse nor barn, no soup kitchens, okay? Mm -hmm. And yet God feeds them of how much more value are you than birds? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to a span of life? Mm -hmm. Is that good enough? Yep, that's good enough for now. Yeah, exactly. So, I think all of us have been anxious at some point or or another. Have you, Pastor? What's up? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh-huh. Yes, of course. <laughs> Before I preach. A lot of times my stomach gets kind of like upset. Yeah, I get Before uh, we do these videos sometimes. Yes, because we care and we yes. want to do the best we can. Exactly. I always take it as a sign that uh, I do care when... <laughs> You know, before I get into the pulpit, that I have a little bit of anxiety. Yeah. Uh huh. Exactly. Yeah. And so then our Lord knows that we're anxious. That's why Jesus says, "Do not be anxious." But then he he directs our eyes really to all that he has created. He says, "Consider the ravens and how the ravens don't even do any work, mm-hmm. but God puts so much care into creating them." Um, into crafting them into these very unique birds. And I mean, just think of Tweety Bird or any bird. (laughs) Think of all the animals that we have out in creation. I mean, God has put so much intricate love into creating them, making them extremely unique. He's gone, you know, Mm -hmm. all into creating one bird. Um, Gone all in, 100 and... 20 million percent. For a purpose, we don't really know necessarily uh-huh. the purpose, but yep. I can look at any uh, robin or blue jay and know, yeah, uh, he is, uh, you know, that, that bird right there is, 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 is in front of me because of God. Mm-hmm. And if yeah. God cares so much about that robin or blue jay, then how much more will, does he care about us, about you, mm-hmm. crafted in his image? Um he formed each one of us in, in our mother's womb. I mean, so first it's just kind of getting to be that reminder of, wow, our Lord has, is all in with you. He's taken such great care in making you. And so if he's mm-hmm. done that, if he has an eye for detail with the birds, I don't think he's going to mm-hmm. slip in the eye for detail when it comes to us. And then if you say, well, you know, birds have brains and I have brains. Uh-huh. Uh, well, then, you know, he, he, he points out, you know, things that don't have brains mm-hmm. that he cares about. Mm-hmm. Yep. Like exactly. lilies, bur- yes. you know, uh, you know uh, roses and, uh, uh-huh. you know, flowers. Sunflowers. My favorite flower because I'm from Kansas. Um, all of the all sorts of plants in creation. And he says about the lilies that they are clothed, um, that even Solomon, King Solomon, probably the, the greatest king who ever mm-hmm. lived, the richest king, um, mm-hmm. wasn't clothed. Um, in the splendor that actually the lilies have. And so it's like, okay, if just some plants that are alive for a couple days and then they wither and are gone a couple days later, if they've been given that much Mm -hmm. attention and beauty and splendor and richness, Mm -hmm. how much more um, you, Pastor, me, and each one of you watching, um, how much more has he clothed? Um, them and us 
And I mean, ultimately, we we know that our Lord takes care of us and clothes us um, because of our Lord Jesus. Because mm -hmm. on the Friday we call good, our Lord Jesus was naked on the tree. He had, mm -hmm. he faced all of the shame, all of the embarrassment, um, the mockery, everything, the, the vulnerability of, and the elements naked on, on the cross. And then mm -hmm. also, I mean, like think about how um, we're usually really wanting to eat something at some point and worried about the next meal at times. But our Lord Jesus, I mean, he had to go through that hunger and, and also from the cross say, I thirst. I mean, he had to undergo all of that. He he hungered. He probably d didn't have any food since uh, since the upper room. Exactly. Yeah, and then all of the stress and duress mm -hmm. uh, placed on his body with the scourging, yes. the whipping, the railing, the nailing, all mm -hmm. that. I mean, that's just, uh, yeah, that, ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so there's probably a, a deep hunger there mm -hmm. and thirst mm -hmm. yeah. um, and not satisfied mm -hmm. uh, because he is naked and he hungers and thirsts so that we can be satisfied, mm -hmm. clothed in him, right. in the waters of holy baptism, wrapped up in yeah. Jesus, his enoughness, mm -hmm. and then fed yeah. Jesus. With him. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, talk about whole food. Right. Yeah, that's the best food. Yeah, exactly. Wonder bread. Yeah. Real wonder bread. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of like, hey, we've gotten to be clothed with Jesus and fed with Jesus. I think Jesus will take care of the rest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if he takes care of the, you know, the, the big, the biggie salvation concerns, yeah. then of course he's going to take care of the everyday, mm -hmm. smaller everyday concerns. Right. Absolutely. And I mean, our Lord Jesus also prays for us. I mean, we get to hear that um, with his word on the cross. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. It's mm -hmm. Father, release them. Release them. Release them from their sin. Release them from their anxiety and worry about um, what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear. Mm -hmm. um, he's saying release them so that their eyes can be fixed on fixed on me, can be fixed on yeah. the Holy Trinity who cares way more about us than yeah. even the sparrows. And yeah. every sparrow, every 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 rose, mm -hmm. uh, is really um, a sermon of yeah. God's care. Yeah, it is. His love for uh, creation, His love mm -hmm. for you, His love for mm -hmm. for me and, and deaconess. Yes, you know, a love that is not just uh, a feeling, but an mm -hmm. action. Mm -hmm. You know, a verb. Yes. Uh, you know, he actually. I mean, we we really do believe in the first article of the mm -hmm. of the creed. You know? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth. Yeah. Everything out there he's he's created. That blue blue sky out there, the sun, moon, stars. I mean, he's created it all and he's created it all as just like this little everyday sermon for us to to be that reminder of he he has created us. He has sent his son to redeem us. Yeah. And he's sent his holy spirit into our hearts uh through the waters of holy baptism through the word so that we have those enlightened eyes to see, to see and to, to pray. Abba, Father, thank you mm -hmm. for this beautiful gift, the sunrise, the sunset, you name it. Yeah, so really, uh, you know, just by looking at creation helps mm -hmm. uh, bolster a life of gratitude. Oh, yeah. And also uh, a life of uh, abundance mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, we don't live in a, you know, with a scarcity, yeah. but with a plenty. Yeah. Um, Cause it, the yeah, mm -hmm. well, yeah, because a lot of people do think that you know, just they have this finite amount of stuff and they mm -hmm. they kind of hoard it, mm -hmm. and uh, just mm -hmm. like the parable of the rich fool, uh, that's right before this text, yeah. by the way. Uh, you know, he just keeps building bigger barns mm -hmm. uh, and hoarding, hoarding, hoarding because he thinks all of his life is is right there in stuff, mm -hmm. and actually he, be, he he's actually possessed by his possessions. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. and uh, and how sad, yeah, um, because he he loses everything in the end. Right. When our Lord is trying to teach us a better way that, hey, you know, let that bird dropping remind you that, uh, yeah, you know, I'm taking care of the birds. I'm going to take care of you. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I don't have a kingdom of scarcity. I have a kingdom mm -hmm. of abundance. Mm -hmm. That there's more than enough, mm -hmm. more than enough to go around mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. for birds and lilies and for you and for me, for all of creation. Mm -hmm. um, yes. What what a, what an amazing way to live. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just it's living, living in abundance. Yeah. 
So, I mean, what a way to counter anxiety with seeing God's abundance. You know, I'm trying to play with the A's, like <laughs> the alliteration, like we are want to do here at Grace. Uh, this is all on the fly. So I, uh -huh. I really don't always know what she's going to say. And she doesn't always know what I'm going to say. So unscripted uh-huh uh -huh. exactly. but we live from abundance and i yeah. i think we just do these uh you know uh these little videos knowing mm -hmm. that uh um some fruit will come mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. yeah that'll be tasty Yay. And and exactly we'll, yeah, yeah um <laughs> yeah so uh so a lot of like the bird droppings uh, to help you you know combat that worry mm -hmm. and realize that you live under uh the canopy of a generous god yes who is showering blessings on, on everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the one who sends rain uh, to uh, really the just and the unjust. Mm -hmm. He's the one that's feeding, uh, you know, just all the creatures, mm -hmm. including you and me. Yes. Um, and we know he cares for us because of the cross. Mm -hmm. I mean, ultimately there we see a, a naked Jesus so that we can be clothed mm -hmm. in enoughness. Mm -hmm. And then a hungry Jesus, a thirsty Jesus, so that we can be fed yeah. really uh the greatest meal ever mm -hmm. his body and his blood mm -hmm. um so that we know that we we have enough mm -hmm. we have more than enough mm -hmm. and we live our lives from really uh abundance mm -hmm. not from a place of scarcity but from a place of plenty mm -hmm. you know so we'll be okay yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, we have to live in the flow of that generosity yeah. so that we can be generous as he is generous. Exactly. Yeah. 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 No then, stingy God. No stingy God. And even at, when he says, do not be anxious, he's giving, he's filling our ears with his Holy Spirit so that we are not anxious. I mean, even just with his word, do not be anxious, mm -hmm. which again, he's not holding out on us. He's giving us all sorts of the abundance <laughs> to combat that anxiety. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So Tweety Bird. Mm -hmm. Tweety Bird. Tweety Bird. Exactly. Let Tweety be your visual image for today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, by his wounds. We are healed. Until next time. See you later. Bye-bye.